YouTube is your subscribers and everybody else in the remaining social networks. You six Dark King, and today we are going to do another let's watch. Today is going to be the death battle of Vukario vs. Renamon. So, this is gonna depend. If Renamon dish evolves, yeah, Vukario gets stumped. If not, I think Vukario can win. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Anyway, disclaimer this is for criticism purpose and as such. Is had the presentation of fair use. I have not any copyright again whatsoever. You all know the history. Let's get to it and play. Hey man. Hey, oh that's a neat shirt. Yeah, it's the new Death Battle shirt uh, available now in the Risty store. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, everybody loves it. Really? Like who? Oh, well then. Hey, I'm Master Chief, and this shirt's the really? best thing I've ever worn. It's so soft. <laughs> I was in death well, battle. What do you think, Jocelyn, the intern? Speech, so, dankly. Speechless. The new death battle shirt. Available uh, now on Rooster Teeth store. Oh, I know you loved it. I do too. So what happened to the arrow of the screw attack? Did they eat it, finally? Well, that was a long time coming. Anyway. Let's see Monsters what Monsters come seen. in many shapes and sizes, but the best ones know Kung Fu. Lucario, the steely canine from the world of Pokemon. And Renamon, the razor sharp and literally foxy Digimon. For this match, we'll be analyzing the species as they are. Therefore, no trainers or tamers will be permitted, nor any moves or forms achieved unnaturally. He's Wiz okay. and I'm that, that's my question. And it's Lucario our wins. job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Pokemon are known for showing off crazy skills in battle, but not many can match the martial arts prowess of a Lucario. The Lucario is a fighting and steel type Pokemon well known for its fondness of combat. Standing at an average height of 3 Lucario feet and 11 inches, Lucario are usually found training high atop mountains, honing their fighting skills on a daily basis. Compared to other Pokemon, Lucario are very well rounded offensive fighters, with high attack, great speed, and moderate defensive stats. Even though they tend to keep away from people, Lucario are actually extremely loyal to close friends and family. <laughs> Some are so devoted to trainers, they even figured out how to talk with their minds. Why did you abandon the queen? What? Telepathy. Wait, wouldn't it yeah. have to be a psychic type to do that? No, it just has to star in its own movie. <laughs> Actually, not a bad movie. Well, who wouldn't want to see a movie starring one of these guys? Lucario is awesome looking, especially those big spikes there. Perfect for a killer backhand. I suppose that may improve a Metal Claw attack, one of the yes. many techniques in Lucario's intimidating arsenal. My favorite is Bone Rush. It doesn't just sound cool, it's when Lucario literally creates bone-shaped laser weapons out of thin air and then beats people down with them. Impressive, yes, though the wild Lucario's most powerful physical move is close combat, a full-out offensive blitz at the expense of defense. And Lucario can use Dragon Pulse, aka it can shoot a giant energy beam from its mouth. It's like he's throwing up lasers. While Lucario <laughs> does have a variety of more useful moves, such as Heal Pulse, Sword Stance, and Extreme Speed, all of which many other Pokemon have as well. However, Lucario does possess a unique trait, the ability to sense and manipulate Aura. Aura is a spiritual energy described as the essence of every living thing. A Lucario can harness its own aura to create brand new attacks. Like Aura Sphere, a projectile so powerful it can destroy stone bridges. But Aura has many other uses. By sensing the aura of those nearby, Lucario can predict incoming attacks, find hidden people, or even examine environments in a literal out-of-body experience. I guess it's sort of like Key from Dragon Ball. Actually, this karate dog is really starting to remind me of someone. Mm. <laughs> Lucario's power is something to behold. A single Aura Sphere can even overcome attacks from legendary Pokemon. Physically, Lucario is strong enough to mangle the steel claws of a crane with a single smack. Talk about metal! Even more, it can move in short bursts of speed so fast it disappears. I should note that the fastest speed a human eye can perceive is approximately 9,000 miles per hour. Yeah, you've been And to there. top it off, Lucario can take a bunch of really bad blows back to back and still stand up. It can survive falling dozens of feet or explosions powerful enough to obliterate whole rooftops. Hey, that's how I remodel too. 
A <laughs> typical Lucario can even survive some brutal beatings from Fire-type Pokémon like Blaziken and Magmar. This is impressive for two reasons. One, Magmar's body temperature measures a ridiculous 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Jesus, it's like Smokey the Bear's worst nightmare. All this guy needs to do is touch a tree and that whole forest is gone. But not Lucario, no sir, its fur isn't even singed. Made even more impressive by my second reason, Lucario is weak to fire type Pokemon. Well, Lucario is also weak to fighting types, and it is a fighting type, so does that mean it hurts itself? Uh, in a way, but nothing like that. Lucario aren't endurance fighters, and yet often employ hyper-aggressive techniques, so they frequently overtax themselves in combat and even become confused when tracking too many auras. This Pokemon rarely backs down from a good fight, even when up against overwhelming odds. But that's what makes this kung fu puppy so friggin' badass. With an imposing arsenal and the fighting spirit to match, the Lucario are certainly frightening warriors. Why'd you do that? You snuck up behind me. That is always a mistake. <laughs> On the other side of reality, an alternate universe exists. Gentry, a digital world full of wonders and monsters. Yep, Gentry. And of the Digimon which inhabit that world, Few are as respected as the mighty Renamon. Renamon are rookie Digimon, which basically means they're like digi teenagers. So that explains why they're always so moody. <laughs> Compared to other rookie level Digimon, Renamon possesses exceptional speed and attack stats at the expense of fairly low defense. Renamon's appearance resembles that of a Japanese yokai called the Kitsune, a fox spirit. These spirits are often called described Kitsune as being very mischievous, M. which huh. is ironic given that the typical Renamon is very stoic and earnest. Plus, some of them really don't care for humanity, and just think of them as a tool for their own evolution. Digivolution. Whatever. Still, Renamon are super smart and always keep their cool. In fact, it may be too cool. I don't like the look in its eyes, Wiz. <laughs> like it thinks it's better than me. It is better than you, Boomstick. Not only is Renamon rational and composed, it always showcases exceptional prowess in battle, mainly relying on hand-to-hand -hand combat. More like paw to paw combat! <laughs> it's got a wicked roundhouse kick among several other dangerous martial arts skills. It can use its amazing speed to surprise attack its enemies with its swift strike. Then there's the super chop, which is an even swifter swift strike. There's also rapid kick and spin kick. Hmm, Digimon may be effective fighters, but their attack names could sure use a little work. Oh, uh, don't worry, we're getting to the good ones. Renamon can enhance its attacks with an internal energy that makes ghost fire! This is likely Renamon embracing its yokai inspiration, as it's similar to the folklore of a magical light emitted by Kitsune Tales which lead wanderers astray. Okay, but this one is used to destroy people! When a Renamon comes at you with a burning foot, it's using Power Paw, its strongest physical move. Some Renamon can even create ghost clones of themselves for additional strikes. But Renamon isn't just kicks and punches. Its signature attack is called Diamond Storm, which summons a furious gust of wind and a terrifying amount of razor-sharp... Diamonds? Yeah. No. Leaves. That would be awesome. What? <laughs> the one time they try a creative name and it totally doesn't make any sense. Who Indeed. comes up with this shit? It would certainly make more sense to use diamonds, the hardest naturally occurring substance in the world. Hardest uh, not Wiz, why would you just throw away diamonds? If I were Renamon, I'd just scoop those puppies up and sell them to make bank. Do you know how many Bigfoot traps I could buy with that kind of money? I would definitely have caught that guy by now. But don't underestimate Renamon's Diamond Storm. It can shatter a wall of ice created by a champion level Digimon, which is a higher, stronger rank than Renamon. The wall here appears to be about 8 inches thick. Assuming this ice is comparable to blue ice, the strongest, most compact form ice can naturally take, this could support approximately 6,000 pounds per square inch before cracking. So, Diamond Storm is basically hundreds of tiny little leaves hitting you like a truck with a bunch of razor blades stuck to its front. Pretty much. <laughs> I just found my next truck upgrade. <laughs> Moving on, some Renamon are also fast right. enough to effortlessly fool the human eye consistently reaching speeds over 9,000 miles per hour. Pretty damn fast for a fox. 
The Renamon who partnered with Tamarika does this all the time. Ninja vanishing into thin air is like her preferred method of getting around. Not only that, but a Renamon is just as capable of taking big hits without concern. That includes surviving a strike from Harpymon's Windseeker, a powerful blade of air which can easily cut through concrete. But Renamon does have its weaknesses. While it can hit hard and likes wearing opponents out, it doesn't really have any good tricks to help with defense. A sort of glass cannon fighting style, if you will. Which huh. seems to work well I've enough. That. Oh yeah, this is still one of the deadliest rookie level mons out there. All in all, Renamon is one stone cold fox. I don't think that means what you think it means. Oh come on, like anyone's gonna sexualize a Digimon. Oh my god! <laughs> I must rely on the power within me. I am alone in this world. Yo, edgy. <laughs> all right, the combatants are set. Let's end this well, debate once and for all. But first, all this talk of animals has made me want to eat some. Okay, we've all seen this over and over again. Well, go on Blue Apron to continue sponsoring these guys. I mean, good show. Anyway. This is interesting. I wonder if Lucario ever did something comparable to what they showed Renamon doing. I still think he can win. Not sure if he will win. <laughs> well, the best fights are those you don't know the winner. So, I still hope that Lucario might win, but not 100% sure. Anytime, guys. <sighs> Man. Should be getting paid for this. But no. Eh. Anyway. My stance. are you? You don't belong here. Leave or I'll make you leave. and the Hound ended up with a not-so-happy ending. <laughs> not without an extremely close battle, though. Lucario held a lot of advantages throughout shorter. the fight, but so did Renamon. While both combatants could move faster than Eyesight, Renamon did so far more consistently, whereas Lucario could only reach those speeds in short bursts. No big deal, though. Lucario wasn't totally outpaced, so his aura let him sense and predict Renamon's moves to make up for the lower speed. Especially since Lucario's much wider arsenal helped it adapt as the fight went on, unlike Renamon's limited options. And while their durability was pretty similar, Lucario was the only one with self-healing and stat-boosting abilities. Oh, but most of all, right. Lucario was way more powerful. Lucario broke these metal claws with a bone rush attack. They were likely made of construction grade steel, which means in order to fracture it, Lucario must have hit with a force of at least 56,000 pounds per square inch. 
Comparing this to Renamon 6000 PSI for breaking an ice wall paints a very clear difference. And as a glass cannon, it's unlikely Renamon could have dragged the fight out until Lucario became overexerted. Ultimately, it was a well-matched battle, but Lucario's superior strength and arsenal gave a much-needed edge. Renamon got Lucario-owned. The winner Where is Lucario. Nips. So, who's next? Hey, don't go away. We're about to reveal the fighters for the next episode of Death Battle. Want to see behind-the-scenes commentary on this one? Then just click that box and sign up for a first membership trial. Again. Oh. I have absolutely no idea where those guys are from. Not big fighting game nerd. Anyway, like I said, is it just me or are the fights getting rather short? I mean, that was like, what? Three or four minutes? Not that much? Huh. Anyway, still, the animation was well put. And what a good fight. Short, but sweet. Then again, if you think about it, Renamon didn't have that big an arsenal to begin with. So it makes sense. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, I'll see you around. Ta-ta!